Hey guys, so today you're gonna need some props, so if you can gather some couch cushions, if you have any yoga blocks, please grab as many cushions as you can find and find your way back to the practice. We'll start whenever you're ready. Slowly start to drop your right ear to your right shoulder and then slowly start to roll your chin into your chest, pausing where you feel any tension, all the way over to the left and dropping your head back. Dropping your right ear to your right shoulder, bring your right palm on top of your head and press your head gently towards the shoulder, opening up the neck. Breathe. Release and slowly drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Slowly start to draw your chin into your chest, circling it gently over to the right side and dropping the head back. Left ear to left shoulder, bring your left palm on top of your head and press your head gently towards the shoulder, opening up the right side of your neck, breathing. Let it go, inhale, rise your arms up over your head, interlock your fingers, elbows wide, palms behind the head, and breathe. Start to rotate your elbows a little bit right to left. Tuck your navel to your spine and then just come back to center, elbows wide, opening up your chest. As you inhale, release your arms into goal post. As you exhale, palms face the floor, curling the arms together, rounding through the spine, drop your head, tuck the tail. Inhale, retract the arms and bring them back to goal post. Exhale, palms face the floor, curl it through. Inhale and reverse it. Elbows wide, exhale, round it out. Drop your head, tuck the tail. Inhale, retract the arms, come back to goal post, and then reach your arms behind your back, palms face each other, fingers interlock, and then release, palms on your knees. Taking the upper back through some rotation, we're gonna tuck the tail, rotate to the right, then come into a side bend to the right, and then press your tail back and roll your chest back through center. Moving to the left, when you're ready, tucking your tail, we're gonna rotate to the left, and then side bend into the left, and then press your tail back and roll your chest back, ending in a mini back bend. So one more time on either side, when you're ready, tuck, find your rotation, then find your side bending, then press your tail back and roll your chest back into your back bend. One more time, tuck the tail, rotate, side bend, and bring it back. Place your left fist beside your left hip. Inhale your right palm up, and as you exhale, bend into your left elbow as you side bend to the left, looking underneath your right armpit to open up your chest. Good, so we're opening up the whole right side body, the rib cage. Inhale to bring yourself back to center, right fist on the floor. Inhale left up as you exhale, side bend to the right. So opening up the left side of the body, bending deep into your bottom elbow to deepen your stretch. Then we're just gonna softly open the feet by leaning back into the fists or palms and lifting the knees off the floor. And then bring your hands in front of you, tuck your toes under and lift your knees off the floor. Just sway your knees from side to side to open up the toes and bring some fresh blood there. Setting the feet back flat. So looking for your largest pillow, set that in front of your knees, in between your knees. And then you can even grab a couple more cushions here. Make sure that you have your blocks if you have any handy. So you can use your blocks or additional pillows if you want more support to place each cushion or each block under each knee. And then just folding your chest forward onto the pillows and you can allow your forearms to reach the floor, reach your arms out, whatever feels comfortable for your body here. Just most important thing is that you're comfortable so if you need to grab a couple more pillows you want everything to be fully relaxed so your muscles can fully release here and even if you can do child's pose comfortably this is a really great release because your muscles are supported so there's a very different release that you get from a restorative pose like this So making any adjustments here if you'd like, adding more pillows, but make sure that your hips are fully relaxed, your shoulders relaxed, everything's fully relaxed. And just noticing where you might be holding on to any unnecessary tension. Especially focusing on your low back, so making sure that you're expanding the low back with your breath. Deep breath, sending them all the way into your low back, releasing that tension.
And you want to make sure that you're fair to your neck, so switching sides, making sure your opposite cheek rests down onto the pillow. And just settle yourself back down. Let yourself be held by gravity and sink your chest down into the pillows. So because this is a restorative style of practice, we'll hold this a little bit longer. It'll help you work deeper into your flexibility, deeper into your muscle. Because we're holding longer, you might start to notice a little bit more where you're feeling the tension in your body for this particular pose. Try to notice that without judgment, but just be aware and pay attention. Learn from your body. What needs TLC? We're going to start to come out of this by removing the blocks or pillows underneath your knees and pressing back up onto your palms and rolling up through the spine. Then you can remove the pillows that are in front of you and just set them aside for now. Crawling your hands forward on the mat, make your way onto your stomach any way that's comfortable for you. Place your palms underneath your armpits and roll your shoulders up back and down and then press through your palms, lift your chest up but keep your elbows glued to your sides, breathe. Cobra, so we're working the back here, strong back. Slowly lower as you kiss your chin to the floor and then your forehead. Bring your arms into a gold pose shape, head lifts a couple inches off the floor. Inhale, wave your spine up and exhale to wave it down. We're gonna go for five more. Inhale, waving up, exhale to lower. For four, head's the last thing to come up. Lower, elbows back high, three. Last two, this time you're gonna to look to the left and then back to center, exhale to lower. Inhale, rise, look right, back to center, exhale to lower. Straighten your arms, lift your chest forward, pull your shoulder blades back, bring your toes together and press your booty back to your heels. Sink the booty all the way to the heels and feel that expansion from your low back. Then reaching your hands forward on the mat until your hips stack over your knees. Press your chest gently towards the floor just for a couple of breaths. Maybe pulsing a little bit from side to side here, let it out. And then walking your hands all the way under your wrist. As you exhale, tuck the tail, arch through the back, drop your head down. As you inhale, tail up, belly down, shoulders back, head up, exhale, round it out. Inhale, tail up, belly down, shoulders back, head up. Exhale, arch through the back, tuck the tail, drop your head. Inhale, tail up, tummy down, shoulders back, head up. Walk your hands one hand's length forward, tuck your toes and press your booty back to your heels. Lift your knees and then straighten your left leg, straighten your right. Whenever you're ready, start to pedal it out. So just gently bending into one knee and then alternating from side to side, just to open up the backs of the legs. Keep pressing through all 10 fingers to protect your wrists. Press your tummy to your spine. When you're ready, step or hop your way to the top of the mat and then sink your booty to your heels and find your way onto your back. Bring your right knee into your chest and cross your right ankle over your left knee and then reach through the legs and interlock your fingers behind your left thigh. If you're feeling pretty stiff, your hands will be a little bit higher, closer to the hips, or you can slide your hands lower on the leg, more so behind the knee if you're feeling more flexible. Sending your breath to your right hip to open up that space. So we're going to trick our muscle memory a little bit and let yourself slack a little bit. So pull out a little bit from your stretch and then come back in just as deep. Then we're just going to go ahead and switch sides bending your left knee into your chest, cross your left ankle over your right knee, interlock your fingers behind your right leg, wherever it feels comfortable flexing that left foot. Good, and feeling that stretch moving into your left hip now.
So to deepen our flexibility, once again, we're gonna slack a little bit, come out of your stretch slightly, and then come all the way back in. A couple more breaths, we won't be here for long. Try to make sure you're keeping the left foot flexed so that you really open up that whole area. Take a couple more breaths just to try to stay with any uncomfortable sensations and breathe your way through them. Release that, we're gonna make our way into a twist. So bringing a pillow, you're gonna place it beside your left hip, bringing your knees away from you and slowly lower your knees onto the left side, onto the pillow. Or another option is you can remove the pillow and set it between the knees. Setting the left palm on top of your knees and reaching your right palm in line with your right shoulder, palm faces the floor. On an inhale, bring that right palm into your chest, circle it up, and as you exhale, set it back down. Inhale, circle it out all the way back up and exhale, return it down. Last one. Inhale, circle it up, exhale to set it down. Pressing your right shoulder into the floor to open up your right chest, your pec muscle, breathe. Swing your knees back into center and then swing them all the way to the opposite side. Right palm on top of your knees, left palm in line with your shoulder. Pressing your left shoulder into the floor to open up your chest. Inhale to bring that palm into center. Exhale, circle it up and set it back down. Inhale, full circle, inhale it up, exhale, set it down. Last one, breathe it in, eyes trace the hand, exhale to set it down. So this is a beautiful deep twist all the way from the base of the spine into the crown. We're stimulating all your vital organs, detoxing the body, pressing your left shoulder down, opening up your left chest, breathe. Place your palms back down and bring your knees into your chest, place each palm on each knee. Squeeze your knees into your chest and rock on your back from side to side. Cross your feet at your ankles, rock yourself up to seated. And here we're gonna go into a back bend. So there's two options. You can take a pillow and set it just behind your hips, bending your knees and then laying back onto the pillow. So knees bent allows your hips to relax. It also moves the stretch in the back a little bit. So just play with it. You can see what you like better. There's also another option here. If you do have blocks, you can take your two blocks. You're gonna set one length ways and one width above it. So you're gonna lower yourself back down onto them. The length ways is gonna go between your shoulder blades and the width block you can just set underneath your head to support you so once again option to bend your knees or to straighten out the legs at any time during this restorative practice breathing so option to reach over your head and grab each elbow with each palm you might find this a little bit intense especially if you're on the block so maybe just reaching your arms along your sides anything that feels comfortable here you want to feel supported and semi-relaxed. Also feel free to come out of this at any time. Option to move through this with your arms. So bringing your arms into a goal post and then bringing the forearms together, pressing them back into goal post, rolling out your shoulders in your goal post, and then option to reach your arms straight over your head and then pulling them back into goal post. So imagine that it's a traction as you pull your arms back into your goal post reach them straight up, tractioning them back. These are all options, so choose your own. There's always the option to reach your arms along your sides or just grab onto each elbow with each palm. So we're gonna start to slowly come out by pressing up onto the forearms and moving your blocks or your pillow away. You can take your blocks or your pillows and set them underneath your knees. And we're just gonna go into a butterfly here. So allowing your knees to fall out to the sides. Blocks or pillows underneath the knees to support. And you're just gonna bring the pillows in front of you. So 
Depending on your flexibility, you'll probably want more pillows than I have here. You want to be able to feel completely supported and relaxed here. So if you need to grab a couple of more pillows to set on top of the, this one, or these ones, you can build it up. I highly suggest the more pillows the better in restorative because once again, even if you can do the pose if your muscles are supported, it will allow you to go deeper into the pose. So just like I did here, just adjusting to come up a little bit higher on the pillow so your chest is fully supported. You want to feel fully relaxed here, so make sure that you make yourself comfortable. And once again, just reaching your hands towards the ankles and folding forward onto your pillows. So if your left cheek is resting on the pillow, just lift your head and switch to the other side so that your neck is also getting a little bit of a restorative restoration here as well, stretching both sides. So just a reminder that being supported in these poses, these bolsters or pillows or blocks underneath your knees, is going to allow your muscles to create much of a deeper release than they would if you were able to fully go to your full extension in this pose. Taking another few breaths just to notice where you're feeling any tension and just try to let that go. You're going to slowly start to fold yourself off the pillows and remove the pillows taking the largest one behind your back, keeping the bolsters or pillows underneath your knees and leaning back onto your pillow, reaching your arms wide or options as usual to reach your hands over your head, each elbow on each palm, any options you like to take here. So we're into a butterfly fish pose, just completely relaxing down into gravity. Letting gravity do the work here, breathe into it. We're going to slowly start to come out of this by coming up onto your forearms and pushing your pillows and blocks away from you. Keeping one close by, you're going to sit on the edge of your pillow or your block to tilt your hips forward so you can sit comfortably in a seated position in case you choose to follow this practice with a meditation. So finishing your practice sitting nice and tall. Finishing your practice, inhale, bring your shoulders up to your ears and exhale, drop it down. We're going to do a total of three, just like that. Good, one more. And then rolling out your right shoulder up, back and down, then your left. And let's do both together. Inhale, up, back and down, and let it go. Bring your palms into your heart center, thumbs pressing into your chest whenever you're ready. Reconnecting your heart with your hands. Bowing your chin into your chest, thumbs to your brow, finding gratitude. Palms rest on your knees, palms facing up, thumb and index finger together. Now that you've moved a lot of energy through your body, this would be a great opportunity to sit with yourself in a seated meditation, put on some relaxing music, and just try to unwind. I highly recommend 20 minutes minimum to start, and... Otherwise, you could also run through this practice and again this is something that you could definitely do a couple of times over at your own pace. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much for supporting Yoga in the Six. Please leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next.